When did the massacre at Baluta occur? The massacre at Baluta occurred in the early hours of August the 3rd, 2013. Okay. Who were the terrorists involved? The terrorists were the Free Syrian Army, who were supported by the United States of America and NATO. Why did they target Baluta? Baluta was a small village. It had no um, military uh, importance. It was targeted for sectarian purposes only because it was a minority sect who lived there exclusively. So there was no military targets whatsoever? No. Baluta had no military target. It had no army presence. It had no police presence. It had no government buildings. It was strictly just a farming village full of families, uh, unarmed civilians. 220 unarmed civilians were killed that night. Okay. And uh, what was the opposition's reaction? The opposition, the Syrian National Coalition, located in Istanbul, Turkey, was headed at that time by their president, George Sabra. And he posted on his official page on the internet that he was congratulating the victorious troops, his troops, the Free Syrian Army, and they were very, very happy about the massacre of civilians in Baluta, and they said that it was the gateway to Latakia and the country would fall. Okay, so what was the reaction from the USA? The United States denied any involvement in the massacre of Baluta. They said that the terrorists who had done that massacre uh, had nothing to do with uh, America and were not supported. But that's not the fact. They were the Free Syrian Army, which were under complete support of the United States of America and the NATO alliance. Okay. So, what about the, those who were kidnapped? Yes, that night, besides the massacre, there were 100 small children and several older females that were kidnapped. They were taken that night to Selma and kept in a basement. After nine months of without sunlight, being kept in a basement in Selma by the Free Syrian Army, uh, 44 of the 100 were released. The remainder, those that were not uh, killed, they uh, were released three and a half years later after spending three and a half years in captivity. Okay. Where did the survivors go, the ones that were released? The survivors uh, who weren't killed in the massacre made their way down to Latakia, which is the closest town. Baluta is near Selma, which was the Free Syrian Army headquarters. It is in the province of Latakia, and it is also near Slomfa. So the survivors made their way to Latakia and uh, stayed in a empty school because it was summertime and school was out. They stayed there until their uh, village was liberated and they returned home. Okay. Did the, well, they returned to Baluta. How many returned? Uh, some returned to Baluta, uh, the ones that weren't killed. 220 unarmed civilians were killed. Uh, the kidnapped children, of course, were not all returned. Uh, but the remainder did return to their home. Now, this is a question I'm going to ask. It's not on the list of questions yet. We've just been to a village. Is this a, current, a common occurrence? Have you witnessed this in Latakia and other places, these occupations taking over, massacres? Have you seen yes, this? Yes, there have been uh, attacks and occupation and massacres. There was an occupation and massacre in uh, Kassab on March 21, 2014. 
and also the Free Syrian Army was involved, and also the Syrian National Coalition President Ahmed Jerba congratulated his troops and actually visited Casa while it was under three months of occupation, and it was finally liberated June the 15th, 2014. That's fine. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. I'm Lily Martin Sadiuni from Latakia. Thank you, Lily. It's a pleasure. That's it.